I'd like to talk about two aspects of concentration practice, directing and sustaining attention. These two aspects are really important when you're doing concentration practice. The first one, directing, is what we're doing over and over again when we choose to direct our attention to a particular object. So attention gets absorbed in many different things throughout the day. And with concentration practice, we're choosing to intend to direct it to a particular place, an object, over and over again. And the way that you do this is actually really important. The second aspect that I'd like to talk about is sustaining. So once you direct your attention, you're sustaining it with the object for as long as possible, really being with the object, allowing attention to become absorbed in the object as best as you can until, of course, it goes somewhere else and then you direct it again. And as I mentioned earlier, the way that you direct your attention is really important. For example, if you direct your attention like this, like really sharp and really fast um, because, okay, maybe you're frustrated that you can't stay with this object again and again. This should be looking different than it is. Of course, we go there sometimes. But the more that we do go there, then the more concentration practice seems more elusive. It seems harder. So really what we're trying to do when we wake up and have that moment of mindfulness, oh, attention is not really at the object that I would like it to be. That's not where it is. So what we need to do is just simply say, okay, I'm really glad that I woke up, that I remember what I'm doing, and let me bring it back very softly, very gently, like a butterfly coming in to land on a flower, just gently resting. The butterfly doesn't really affect the flower that much. It's just really gently resting there as it lands. So soft, gentle movements. And this is actually the seeds for a lot of different things, a lot of heart practices. So kindness can arise here, compassion can arise here. This soft, gentle movement is important. So when we start to strive and tug and push and pull, then that actually doesn't create the conditions for concentration to arise. There's a sense of self, there's you involved in this process. And with concentration practice, we really are learning that, okay, we can influence the mind, we can influence concentration, we can influence the way that our attention comes to this object and how it sustains, you know, the moment and time that I can actually be with it as it is there. Simply, gently, what is this? So as you learn to do that over and over and over again, it does create momentum and concentration will build and the causes and conditions for concentration will begin to arise. And one of the causes and conditions is relaxation and ease. So the best that you can remember, okay, take a breath, relax, ease, it's not a problem. No matter how long you can stay with that object, this is not a problem. You're just aiming to come back. Direct, sustain. Direct, sustain. And eventually, you will see the results.